A new program is inviting kids to create their own time capsules that will then be buried at iconic locations across Chicago. Do you know how every fairy tale begins? Welcome to Once Upon Our Time Capsule. You're going to tell your very own story of the past year and make a time capsule to put it in. About our year in COVID-19. So many things were different. So many changes this year. Each of us had our own specific journey. It's called Once Upon Our Time Capsule. The idea was created by Stacy Gillette and Stephanie Hodges. They're two Chicago moms and they join us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. So tell us the basic idea. You want kids to kind of pack up this past year and put it away so they don't have to think about it and then bury it somewhere. I'm sure there's more to it than that. <laughs> uh, Once Upon Our Time Capsule is a citywide project focused on helping kids across Chicago tell their story of the past year. Yes, kids will create time capsules. We'll then bring them together uh, into one giant Chicago time capsule, seal those up, and store them in iconic locations across Chicago. And then they are going to get dug up in five years by other kids? Exactly. The, the idea is that kids that are living through the past 14 months are living through an incredibly historic time. So we know that in school they learned so much about history and historical figures. And what we want to help them understand is that they are those figures. They are living through, an, uh, as we know, an unprecedented time. And we want to help them see what heroes they've been um, in living through, you know, really in, in making history. Yeah. Um, and so what we're trying to do is help them see, you know, you really have been incredible and living through the change and the complexity of the past year and want to give them the vocabulary and the awareness to say, you've made it through some really hard times and that's something you can do in the future. You're gonna face difficulty ahead, but you need to know that in making it through this past year, you are also able to make it through any challenges that you're gonna face in the future. So Stephanie, is the idea that doing the art or the project or whatever it is somehow alleviates some of the stress they've been dealing with? And if so, how, how, how does that work? Well, we know storytelling is incredibly cathartic, right? And can help people through processing and understanding what they've been through. And so that is at the heart of this. We've been working with the Chicago Children's Theater and Lurie's and the Lurie Center for Childhood Resilience to build a curricula that really supports children in understanding their strength, um, understanding um, and processing what they've been through and really imagining a brighter future. So this time has been full of ups and downs and um, you know, the stories we've been hearing really reflect um, moments of joy, moments of frustration and fear. And, um, you know, really, this is a chance for us to give them a stage to, to share what they've been through. So if parents want to get involved, do you do they go and do this? They, they all do their artwork at a public place. And where's this stuff going to be buried? Yeah, great question. So there's a number of different ways to participate. The first thing I'd say to any family or anybody working with kids on, on that is watching today, go to OurTimeCapsule.org. You can find everything that you need there to participate um, at, at your home. At the same time, if you want your school, your camp, anywhere where kids are going to be this summer, there are resources for educators, for camp counselors to be able to, to work with a group of kids in doing this. So you can submit both physical time capsules as well as submit online. And then we'll be working with a number of organizations, um, institutions across the city, such as the DuSable Museum for African American History, the Adler Planetarium, Peggy Notabart Nature Museum, a whole range of institutions that will be storing pieces of this giant Chicago time capsule in the fall. That's great. Well, for more information, you heard that. You can go to their website, ourtimecapsule.org. You can follow them on Instagram and Twitter as well. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, Paul. Hi, you guys.